What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and it is Super Bowl time here in Season 2 of my Madden 25 Head-to-Head -head Season Series. And you guys can take a look here at the history that we've had for this second season. We were able to go completely undefeated through the regular season, and for some reason it's showing like some weird error here. I don't know what's going on, but I didn't have to play in the wild card round, obviously. I did play in the divisional round, but it was against Janked on you, and then I played Slugga in the conference championship. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. We are here in the Super Bowl. There it is, beautiful Super Bowl stadium. And guys, it is my time to shine. I was completely humiliated in my first Super Bowl, and damn it, I am not allowing that to happen here in the rookie first string. I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. I am winning this damn Super Bowl. Let's take a look at my opponent's team. Yes. <laughs> the last Super Bowl that I played, I played against the best team I have ever played against. Pretty much 99s at every single position. This team's significantly worse. And that makes me feel pretty darn confident going into this game because I've been taking care of the football. I've been playing good defense. Just playing good fundamental Madden. And that's really how you win games. So here we are. Very first play of the game. Let's try the outside zone. Look, look at Donald Penn with that beast block. Pancake on the first play. Chris Johnson with the back juke. Oh, man. He was almost gone there. 25 yards, though, on the first play. Second and eight now, moving forward just a little bit, and Walter Payton goes off the left side. He tries the back juke, but he actually takes a big hit there. Moving forward, and it's second and six. We're going to go with the screen pass here, and he breaks a tackle, but we're stopped short of the first down. Third and two now, and we're going to go with the read option again here. Walter with the spin move gets the first down. We are back in business on offense. Second and nine, and it's a screen pass to Reggie Bush. Look at him getting those blocks, and... Oh, Dwight Freeney barely takes him down from behind. That could have easily been a touchdown. Let's try the read option one more time. It's been working for us, but Walter stumbles coming out of it for some reason, and it's now third and goal from the 12-yard line. The screen pass has been working. Let's try it one more time, but he scouted it very, very well that time. He did not allow us to get into the end zone, and unfortunately, just like the last game that we played, we choke in the red zone, end up having to kick a field goal, I am not happy about that. Now on defense, and it's Pierre Thomas off the left side. He breaks a tackle, but it's taken down after seven. Now they're going to go play action here. He's going to look deep here from Phillip Rivers, but he ends up checking it down, and we stop him barely short of the first down. Third and inches now. He's going to run it right up the middle. Barely picks it up, but it is a first down nonetheless. Now Rivers going to go over the middle here to his tight end, and we make the tackle, but another first down. He is moving the ball fairly efficiently here until Elvis Doomerville gets a beautiful sack there. Next play. Oh, Malcolm Smith, no! You need to come up with that interception. Come on, dude. Dion, two! Come on, Dion. Two interceptions dropped in a row. Thankfully, though, that was third down, and he was forced to punt. We are back on offense with about 45 seconds left on the clock. Second and inches here. CJ2K off the left side, and he has got room. He is breaking away from the defense, and the back juke. He gets away from the defenders, and he is going to score here to put us up 10-0 here at the end of the first half. First and 10 here. He bombs it down the field, and Nande Asamoah drops an interception. That's our third dropped pick in the first half. But it's okay because we were able to escape the first half without allowing any points. It is a 10-0 lead here as we go into the second half. My opponent completes a pass there on first down to make it second and four. Now Pierre Thomas up the middle, third and two, and he's going to try and pass for it. He completes the pass, a short, short pass there, but it's good enough for another first down. He's definitely preferring to grind the ball, it looks like, but he's going to test deep here, Charles Woodson, and he drops a pick. Throw me a freaking bone here. Four should be interceptions. Very, very solid should be interceptions, and he beats us there on the inside route. Patrick Peterson couldn't break it up, but this time, Namde Asamoah gets the interception, and guys, he is going to make some moves here and break away from the defense, and that is going to be a Dallas Cowboys touchdown. We go up 17-0 here, and it looks like this may be a game that we are going to walk away with. We may just be a Super Bowl champion here at the end of this one as we pick up a sack. Second and 20 now, and he's going to complete a nice pass there to make it third and four. 
we really should have been able to stop him, but unfortunately, he did get the first down. Now watch this. He's going to try to check it down like he did on the last drive. That could have been an interception as well. If Antrell Roll had turned around and gone for the football, he didn't though. And the next play, Patrick Peterson intercepts the pass, and he is going to go to the house as well. Two drives ended in a row with pick sixes, and my defense is starting to show up, guys. It is now 24 to nothing here as we enter the fourth quarter, and my opponent seems almost just reserved in running the football. I'm going to allow him to run. I don't want him to get that big of gains every time, but if he's going to get four or five like he is here, I'm perfectly okay with that. If he wants to run out the clock, so be it. You do whatever you want, Boo Boo. And he's going to try and go play action, though, and Charles Woodson is going to put this football game possibly out of reach as he gets the interception. Now it's the first play back on offense, and it's the old trusty read option. QB Walter with another back juke. He breaks a tackle, stumbling, rumbling all the way for another touchdown, and he belly flops into the end zone. On the sidelines now, QB Walter and Matt Prater give Jim Schwartz the Gatorade bath. They believe this game is over. It's 31 to zero, and it probably is, as my opponent is just gonna continue to run the ball here. He is not interested in passing, apparently, and we are gonna be able to walk away with my first Super Bowl ever in Madden 25 head-to-head -head seasons. It feels so good, guys. I, I mean, like I said, I, I was so dang frustrated after my first season that I didn't win that Super Bowl. I went undefeated all the way through that regular season. I felt like the freaking New England Patriots in the Super Bowl in like 2006. And, you know, even though my opponent scores here, it didn't really matter. And watch this stupid play. Actually, you guys are probably going to get a kick out of this. I did an onside kick return and I just couldn't pick up the ball for some reason. <laughs> He ends up getting it there, and he is actually going to try and score here again. But again, the game is by far over at this point. And, you know, like I said, guys, I feel so happy to have this Super Bowl. It, it really does feel good as Pat Pete is going to give you another pick six here to end this game. Look at the clock running out. Pat Pete all the way for another touchdown. The Super Bowl champions, the rawest of them all, the Dallas Cowboys, whatever you want to call it. I am happy. I am just absolutely ecstatic. 38 to 7 is the final score, and look at my guys celebrate on the field. They are loving it almost as much as I am. I'm looking forward to the pro season. Hopefully, I'm able to play some people that are a little bit better. Hopefully, somebody has a little bit better teams. I actually slipped through this whole season without playing anybody that had an all 99 squad, and I played pretty much two of them in my first season. So, hopefully, next season there's a little bit better uh, challenges against me, but. You know, it's still the pro season and it's not the all pro or the all Madden division. So you never know. I might be up against some people that don't really have that great of teams just like I was this time. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, comment. If you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you beautiful bitches in the pro division. So there it is, the Lombardi Trophy Hell High. What a season it's been. No better way to close out the year than the greatest triumph in all of sports. The Super Bowl belongs to them for Phil Simms and all the crew. Jim Nance saying so long from the Super Bowl. The post-game wrap-up show is next, and we'll see you next year here on EA Sports.